Hey, what is up, guys? I hope you guys are all having an absolutely amazing day. I just wanted to quickly do that and see the little scuttle dance, dude. The little scuttle dance is so freaking adorable. That is adorable. I love that so much. All right, guys. So today, I'm hoping uh, is one of the last videos in which we are talking about builds. So uh, I know you guys want actual gameplay, and trust me, we are very close to that. Um, just to give you guys an update, I have been trying different builds, obviously. <laughs> uh, I've been trying different champions or going up against different matchups, I mean. Um, and I'm feeling a lot more confident with Kench. And the reason you guys haven't seen me playing Kench in ranked is because of the fact that these changes uh, that were on the PBE that we've been playing on were not live till today. I, I, I'm recording this Thursday, so they weren't live till today. Um, and I wanted those changes to go through before I decided to go ahead and start streaming ranked and uploading ranked videos So in matchups. Uh, so that's kind of the reason why. So I do apologize to everyone that's been wanting ranked. I promise you that is coming soon. Um, but just with everything that's been going on with Kench and just the PBEs, uh, I, or the PvP, um, that, that's why there's been such a delay in my regular content, which is playing into matchups and learning how to play the game and things like that. So I do apologize for that, but we are, uh, next, starting next week, we will be seeing a lot more of that. Uh, I did try recording today a ranked matchup for you guys, but unfortunately the OBS was absolutely lovely and said, I'm not going to record any sound like it usually does and i got screwed out of that video so i do apologize it was a nasus matchup just so you guys know nasus is not the hardest thing to go into anymore so good to hear right anyways guys let me go straight into this i do apologize for that long introduction let's talk about builds so in order for us to talk about builds we have to talk about the changes that happened on the pbe so or that that went live i'm sorry that went live so the changes whoopsie the changes that went live let me actually show you a quick picture of it because it will be a lot easier to explain uh so let me go ahead and pull this up for you guys so you guys can see exactly what i am talking about so these are the changes that went live your passive damage is now no longer 2.5 max hp damage and it's now switching to 12 to 60 plus 2.5 bonus hp damage this is a buff by the way um, this is a buff. I'm pretty sure at all points in the game, but especially later in the game once you're building more bonus HP. But even then, you still do more damage in the beginning with this. Anyways, the Q, your Q, your, so your Tongue Lash, now also deals damage from your Acquired Taste, which is your passive. So it's also doing damage on that. So you have a little bit of a stronger early game now due to that, which is awesome. The, here's the only nerf, and it's only a situational nerf. So the healing on your Q went down. So it used to be 6 to 10% missing HP. Now it's 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, plus 4, 4.5, 5, 5.5, 6% missing HP. Early in the game, this is actually a buff. Um, later in the game, it is a nerf. But even later in the game, it's the healing is still crazy, to be honest. Um, so I'm, I'm, I really don't care about this because... Kench didn't have healing in its past form before the rework, so I don't care. This is We still have missing HP healing, and with the amount of HP that we have later in the game, which is a lot, you're still healing a lot with your Q. Not to mention you are going to be doing a lot of damage as well, due to, again, your passive now also going on your Q. So, they fixed W cooldown refund not scaling with ab ability haze, and at the W cooldown and mana refund was increased from 30% to 40%, which is huge. You can now use your W more often in fights as long as you are hitting your W. So keep in mind, only if you are hitting one or two champions, or sorry, one or more champions, you will get the mana refund and the cooldown refund. So keep that in mind. Your R shield also got a buff. So your R shield, instead of starting at 300 going to 600, it goes from 400 to 600, just pretty straightforward buff and your ally self slow instead of going from 4 to 10 now or sorry 40 to 10 now goes from 30 to 10 so again a buff all around so those are the changes that that went live and that's why uh that's why i was taking so long to start with the ranked because i figured this is a good change for him and i want to play with these changes it didn't make sense for me to not play with these changes i think at that point i'm just putting myself at a disadvantage so 
that being said, let's talk builds. So the first one that everyone keeps talking to me about is AD. Um, honestly, here's the problem with all builds, period, now. Tom Kench's passive is now based on bonus health. Bonus health. And the problem with that is that now you only have pretty much one build path. I've been dabbling in uh, AP decently because he has really good AP uh, AP things. But honestly, I, I AP scalings is what I was trying to say. But honestly, I don't really see myself doing that because the only thing that maybe might benefit me is going AP for a little bit of AP as a support since you'd be using your R mostly to save uh, the allies and things like that. You'll st still be doing that as top lane sometimes, but as, as a support, I think it's a little bit more important. Um, because of the fact that you don't do damage, as much damage, uh, if you do AP on your auto attacks, it just doesn't make sense to me. And even if you can spam your Q, it just doesn't make sense anymore. AP no longer makes any sense for me. Um, and I feel the same way about AD. The a lot of you will argue with me. Some of you uh, told me that you are a mid main uh, with Tom Kench and AD works well for you. Great. I'm happy for you. If something works for you, keep doing it. I'm just saying what doesn't work for me. AD just has not been working for me. And now with these changes again to the passive, it no longer makes sense for me to build anything else but health on the champion. The extra damage that you get, especially later in the game, especially with your Q, it just does not make sense for me to put things that don't really uh, stack well with any of his abilities um, so yeah that or, or scale at all with any of his abilities and and that's kind of what I've been experiencing so that being said the conclusion of this is that health is the way to go health and resistances as we've always been doing um, which kind of sucks I kind of like the idea that you could potentially go AP on Kench or maybe do some AP items. Um, and I like the idea of that, but I really don't see the benefit in them any longer. Uh, so let's talk about the tank build that I've been building. Let's go ahead and give ourselves some gold. Sorry it took so long to uh, get to this part of the video, but I wanted to make sure that I explained everything else. Anyways, let's talk about the build. So I've been dabbling in a couple of things, okay? There's three different right now for me there's three different build paths that i've been doing the first one is anathema's rush so and with that you go kindle gem first going into bramble vest probably get boots somewhere along the way and then either finish your boots somewhere along the way if you need them or just finish anathema's all the way so if you finish anathema's you are very strong you are very have a lot of health have ability haste and then you can do a vendetta which into certain champions i think it works really well aurelia is one of the things that i think it works really well into all right so my internet randomly cut out in the middle of this, so let's go back to this okay so we were talking about the first build path which is anathema's rush uh you build bramble vest get boots somewhere along the way um and then into this you want to immediately go into your mythic speaking of mythics i've been building frostfire gauntlet a lot more often now i need to fully test frostfire gauntlet versus sunfire but truthfully i've almost only have been building frostfire gauntlet why the reasons for it even though before you guys know how much i absolutely love sunfire the reasons for it is the extra bonus hp that it gives you per legendary item so extra 100 health and six percent size per each uh individual legendary item so because of that you are also not only giving yourself a slow you're making yourself bigger which makes your q bigger which before wasn't a big deal but it's a nice thing to have as i said in previous videos um and you are increasing your damage and sustain so overall this champion does really well adds extra slow to you adds um size to you adds q size to you and adds extra damage plus extra sustain so everything about this item is great sunfire is th the reason another reason is because it's 400 gold cheaper so it's cheaper for you to make this or to build this um 
and the things that you're getting from it are still very, very good. 350 health versus 350 health. You lose on 5 armor and 5 magic uh, resistance, and your ability haste stays exactly the same. And the things that you are getting from I Frostfire Gauntlet, as of right now, I think are better. Again, requires a little bit more testing, but I'm almost certain that this is what I'm going to be building almost every single time, if not every single time. After this, then you want to go into either Thornmail or go into Spirit Visage. So if you have a primarily, they have a lot of AP damage, then you want to go forget about finishing Thornmail, start building into Spirit Visage, build Spirit Visage first. Once that's done, if you need Thornmail for more Grievous Wounds, then you can do that. If not, then we can just leave it the exact same since they're, they don't have that much and we just want it for Grievous Wounds. It is a very cost effective item, so we don't really, or a gold effect, a gold efficient item, so we don't really need to worry about that. And then for your last one, it depends. If you're very tanky already and they can't really do anything against you, build Titanic Hydra. It works pretty decently. If you need a little bit more sustain, build Warmog's Armor. Uh, there is other things that you can build among that, but those are the two that I've personally have done that I really like. If you need even more armor, you can go for Dead Man's Plate, or if you need more uh, magic resistance, go for Force of Nature. So that's kind of where uh, I've been at. Uh, so that is one of the build paths, okay? They're all very similar, uh, but let's go ahead and go back to this. So let's add a bit more gold just in case I run out. So... Uh, so now let's move over to the next build path. So the next build path it is a Warmog's Rush. You want to go for Bobby Cinder. And again, you could go for Bramble Bass. I sometimes do it, sometimes don't. So it's completely situational whether you need the Bramble Bass before going straight for Warmog's or not. So you build Warmog's and probably get boots somewhere along the way, right? So at this point in time, you are very very tanky you have a lot of health first of all uh you have a decent amount of resistances with bramble vest and by this time you're a pretty decent level so you have other resistances as well um here's the one thing to keep in mind with this build i've learned that this build takes a lot of time to get to this point it takes a lot of gold to get to this point and it, although it is very strong sometimes this is not really worth it and it's going to take us practicing this into certain matchups um, to understand what works and what doesn't work and what situations do you want to build war mugs into what champions do you want to build war mugs into what comps do you want to build war mugs uh, before building anything else from here it goes into the exact same thing that we just talked about you go into the mythic finish your boots if you need anathemas then go anathemas or anathemas i guess is the right thing i apologize for that it's anathemas everyone keeps correcting me on that if you need anathemas, go anathemas. If you don't, then finish Bramble Vest, go into Spirit Visage, or vice versa, with the same reasoning that I said for that first build. Again, you need extra damage, and so let's go ahead and work with Titanic Hydra. If you don't need that and you need more resistances, more speed, then you can go Dead Man's Plate. The last one is usually the most situational of them all. If you're very ahead, Titanic Hydra is the way to go. Um, so that is the second uh, way to build. The last way to build is the regular way to build. Uh, I say, whoops, I say regular, um, but it is the normal way to build. So this is what we've always built. Bomby Cinder into Bramble Vest. You finish your boots somewhere along the way. Let's just do that. And then you finish out your Mythic. At some point you'll finish out your boots because movement speed is very important for Kench. Uh, I also, speaking of movement speed real fast, I have been opting out for Swifties sometimes. Swifties actually works really well on Kench. I have not been opting for Berserker's Greaves at all. The reason for it is because your uh, the stacks that you can get doesn't really matter that much because your Q is on a longer cooldown. Now with the runes that we have, we have the cooldown for our Q probably at about the same time that you have your uh, three stacks in the late game. So you pretty much have a perma stun, which is so much fun. And uh, as I play the game, you guys will actually get to see that. So get your boots along somewhere along the way. And once again, if they have a lot of AP, you go for Spear Visage. If not, then you go for Thornmail. But let's just do this. And then, um, then the last two items, again, are completely situational. If you need Anathemas, then you go Anathemas at some point in the game. If not, if you need more health, then go Warmogs. If you need a bit of damage, then you go Titanic Hydra. And then again, these are the two that I've been opting for. Um, Frozen Heart is actually not a bad item at all to go to as well. Uh, so that is an item that I would actually recommend. I don't 
really build it too often because again it is a somewhat situational item but the times that i have built it has actually worked great so yeah that's that's an option for you as well so generally though this is the build generally this is the build that you end up building uh because i don't think i'm trying to think if there's anything else i'm missing now um so this is the build that i'm going to be testing most of the time uh, with the exception of probably these two items so here's what i'm going to be doing uh, i'm going to be testing with this build if i learn that building it in this order and everything doesn't work on a champion next time that i go up against that same champion i'm going to try one of the other two builds and see which one works best out of the three versus them so that's what I'm going to be doing in order to test them. So there is going to be, it's going to be tough because I'm going to be switching in between ranked from my personal account, which is the Kenshi account, uh, and Grom's husband. Grom's husband, I will only be doing on stream or once it reaches a higher MMR or a higher uh, rank than the one that I currently have, I will be doing for some matchup videos as well because I want to give you guys the highest quality content as possible so the last thing before i let you guys go is going to be runes runes so do not mind the background don't pay attention to the background i need to update some things on there but the uh, runes that i am currently using and i find the most fun and strongest for me personally are grasp then you go demolish and now i'm actually uh, going for shield bash into harder matchups such as mordekaiser uh, i'm offering going for shield bash to make that matchup a lot easier uh, and then second win and revitalize that didn't change from our previous build but the biggest thing that changed is before i used to go cheap shot and ravenous hunter no matter what so now i no longer am building in the domination tree i am building in the sorcerer tree which is i'm doing mana flow and transcendence the secondary rune doesn't matter that much this is everything that i want from the sorcery tree two or, or two things of ability haste five ability haste and five ability haste at level five and level eight which means at level nine you feel like old kent used to feel that fun uh being able to constantly stun someone comes back because you actually have it at a shorter cooldown especially into higher levels uh or once the game goes on since you have more items and more ability haste you have it at a shorter cooldown than you used to be able to with old kent so you are able to constantly spam your Q and keep in mind your Q is stronger than it used to be and your Q also heals you which is the biggest reason that I am currently building transcendence on it I think it works great it feels great I love it into later into later game and I feel like it brings back the old Kench that I love the spamming Q ability so that is why I'm building that I tried gathering storm for quite a bit of time and then I tried scorch for a bit of time both of these I actually found that weren't that great, to be honest. So I opted in for mana flow. Tom Kench does have issues with mana. You are playing a safe early game for the most part because you don't really have as much pressure as you used to. So you are just spamming Q, especially if you get pushed out of lane. You need that extra mana in order to sustain the lane a lot more often. So mana flow is the reason, uh, or that is the reason why I'm going mana flow. So the last three things, I've been going for ability haste because, again, your Q is your strongest ability in my opinion. And these last two things are situational. If you're going up against someone like Darius where you know he does only physical damage, then you can go ahead and opt for armor. If you think that you actually need uh, magic resistance, you can do that as well. If you're going up against a champion that does both and you do one of each so very very self-explanatory on this last one uh, that's what I do and then you could argue why don't you build health Health's gonna help you with your new passive uh, you are correct but also I would rather get early resistances since the first thing that we build is bombies you want extra resistances for the health that you are building because it gives you more uh, if you guys have seen Balori's video, he calls it true health, uh, which essentially is how much damage you can actually take with magic or with the resistances that you have and the health that you have. So that is why I'm building this. The last thing that I wanted to talk about in this video is the following, which is the spells. I am no longer running Ignite, guys. I w used to run Ignite. I love Ignite so, so much. But because of Tom Kench not having the early game pressure that he used to have, I've been opting for teleport. And if you see my previous videos before this rework even happened, I've told every single one of you teleport is actually the stronger, stronger rune, um, or not stronger rune, stronger spell. Uh, but I just like running ignite. 
But now with teleport, if you get pushed out of a lane early, you can easily recover with teleport. And you can also make plays in the bot lane, which is very, very important in higher elo, which is something that I am hoping to get this season. Uh, at least reaching plat this season. So that is why I'm going for teleport and secondary is still my flash. Uh, some people have told me they've been running ghost teleport or ghost ignite. Uh, me personally, I think my W does get me out of most situations, but in case I ever misplace or I just need one more hit, I like having the flash. I really enjoy flash a lot, so that's why I am running flash. So thank you guys so much for watching. That is all I got for you. These are the builds. I am going to go ahead and put timestamps in the description. Uh, first time doing that, so hopefully they show up correctly and you guys are able to just skip to the parts that you guys need to know. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. We are at 2,700 or 2,700 subscribers which is absolutely nuts so thank you so much for that um and yeah this sunday there will be a stream with the grump's husband i am praying that i get that to level 30 uh some of my mods have offered to help me level that up and i'm very thankful for them uh, because honestly i'm getting burnt out of league and i cannot keep doing this uh, i've been just grinding 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 that account but thank you guys so much for watching i hope you guys find this video informational uh, if you guys built something different let me know in the comments below i'm actually very curious uh, i like knowing what other people are building and maybe i'll even try those uh those different builds uh that way i can see for myself if maybe they're better than what i'm currently doing so thank you guys so much for watching i hope you guys enjoyed this and i hope every single one of you has an absolutely amazing day